In a widely male-dominated art world, the American painter Georgia O'Keeffe became one of the first female artists to gain critical acclaim around the globe in the 20th century. She recalled her first memory was of the brightness of the light, brightness all around. From the age of 11, she was determined to be an artist. O'Keeffe has been described as the mother of American modernism because of her unique way of painting nature, simplifying its shapes and forms. However, dividing and categorising artists by gender was something O'Keeffe disagreed with. She once said, Men put me down as the best female painter. I think I am one of the best painters. O'Keeffe became recognised for her strong confidence and expectation for equality throughout her career. And what a long career it was. Born in 1887 in Wisconsin, America, O'Keeffe was motivated to paint nature in a way that communicated her strong feelings towards the subject matter. She found fame in the New York art scene in the 1920s. Here she met and married her partner, Alfred Stieglitz, a photographer and gallerist at this time. He championed her work and they were together until his death in 1946. O'Keeffe was inspired by both nature and colours. These two aspects sing through her body of artworks in her magnified flowers as well as New Mexico landscapes. Early in her career, she enjoyed painting New York skyscrapers like this one. And she enjoyed challenging gender stereotypes early on. When I wanted to paint New York, the men thought I'd lost my mind, she reflected later in life. But I did it anyway. When she travelled from New York to the wide expanses of New Mexico, O'Keeffe discovered much inspiration from walking alone through the rolling desert landscape, collecting rocks and animal bones and skulls with a kind of devotion for them. To me, they are as beautiful as anything I know. To me, they are strangely more living than the animals walking round, hair, eyes and all, with their tails swishing. She loved painting outdoors beneath the desert sun, in spite of the intense heat, turning her Ford Model A car into a mobile studio. She said, It was all so far away. There was quiet and an untouched feel to the country, and I could work as I pleased. Back in New York, Stieglitz missed her very much, but the landscape of New Mexico was nourishing for her. It forced her to live differently than in New York. All the excesses cut away, a tougher way of life. Bones and skulls were beautiful to her, with their bleached colour, their grooves and intricate cavities. In her abstract style, she painted them enlarged and suspended against the clean blue desert sky, overhanging dry hills and mountains, sometimes with flowers playfully tucked behind where the animal's ears once had been. For her, painting the desert and its skulls wasn't about fixating on death, but about using shapes and colour to portray feelings, filling space in a beautiful way. And aren't they breathtaking? What words would you use to describe these landscapes? While critics tended to focus on her romance with Stieglitz, choosing to read this as a message behind her paintings, O'Keeffe disagreed. She said of her close-up paintings of flowers, that when she took a flower in her hand and looked really closely, it's your world for a moment. When she was just starting out as an artist, she was influenced by an artist and designer named Arthur Wesley Dow. He explains that composition is key. That means how you arrange the shapes and colours on the page or canvas. So O'Keeffe practised for a while banning herself from using colour, and instead used only charcoals. She was very disciplined and worked 
long into the night and over holidays developing her iconic abstract forms. Looking and looking, drawing and redrawing, trying to work out the subject matter, how it made her feel, what the secret of her attraction to it might be. The swirling flame-like intertwining forms became something of a language for her. I find I could say things with colour and shapes that I couldn't say in any other way, things I had no words for. This was a moment of enlightenment for her. This idea, expressing meanings, feelings, ideas in abstract and unexpected ways, continued throughout her long career. After Stieglitz died, O'Keefe lived full-time in Santa Fe, working from her home, Ghost Ranch, Hiking in old age through the Nevada mountains continues to look for inspiration. Always an independent spirit, she travelled to Japan and Peru to paint the landscapes there. O'Keefe's eyesight deteriorated after she turned 90, but she still continued to create, turning to sculpture. She died in 1986 at the age of 99 in Santa Fe, having created art for 70 years. Here, her ashes were scattered in her favourite mountain landscape. Today, her message, putting feelings and ideas across through shapes and colour, is as inspiring as it was back when she first started out. Where in the world most inspires you to make art? Why not have a go, like O'Keefe, putting your feelings and ideas into shapes and colours?